All right, Matt Taven, you got the OMG Moment of the Year and Superstar of the Year. How's it feel? Feels fantastic. This is a blast. Did you have fun? I had fun. We had a great time. Stevie Stamos, probably the best part of the night, right? I mean, I thought it was hilarious, but really look at these. These are beautiful. This is going right up. I have a bar in my house. This will go right up so all the people that come and uh, visit, I can tell them how big of a deal I am. All right, we're here with the Tag Team of the Year, uh, Ron Zombie and Bull Dread Bull. Guys, congratulations. Thank you very much. It was the favorite of the year. And the fan favorite of the year. What, what does it feel like to be uh, not only Tag Team Champions, but now... Start, uh, start with him. He's double fisting. But now Hammerlock Award winners. You know, this is a great night. Uh, thank you to Michael Lombardi for putting this on. This is an amazing thing. Like I said, the 18 plus years I've been in wrestling, I've never seen a show like this. It's fantastic. Um, it's really great to be acknowledged by the fans. You're the ones that put these in our hands, so thank you, the fans. It's an amazing feeling, and uh, just when I thought my, you know, I was thinking about maybe walking away from the business, I uh, Lombardi gave me a chance, and now six years later, I stand here, one half of Dreaded Dead and Tag Team Champions and Tag Team of the Year. All right, Big Jim, you won a Breakout Star of the Year. How's it feel to win? Uh, I'm uh, honored, to be honest, very honored. Uh, it's my first year this year, and to win this award, uh, it means the world to me. So, 2015, the era of violence is going to take place. Violence never looks so good. I'll see you guys in the ring. All right, Stevie Stamos, uh, you got the Double Cross of the Year award, and you should also should have been Best Buns of the Year, should have been Heel of the Year, should have been Absolute Favorite of the Year. But I guess I'll settle for what it is. You can't win them all. You got to make the other guys feel good. Great way to go out tonight. My last night, Northeast Wrestling. I know I'm a bad guy, but thank you, fans. Thank you, Northeast Wrestling. It's been a pleasure. I will see you in Florida, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. I will be down there. I will assure you you have not heard the last of me. Stay tuned, literally. I will see you all very soon. Thank you. All right, we're here with Brian Anthony, winner of the best promo and least uh, favorite superstar of the year. Brian, how is it to, to be a Hammerlock Award winner? Least favorite superstar. You're telling me, Steve Credo, you're telling me, Jonathan Benjamin, the really big podcast, the show that everybody's talking about, you're telling me that I'm the least favorite superstar of the year? The, the fans told you that. The no, fans no, 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 the fans told me nothing. You see, I tell myself everything. And Steve Credo... Jonathan Benjamin, Wrestling's Greatest Podcast. I don't just jump through tables for the fun of it. I don't just dive off ladders for the fun of it. I don't just spill my heart out to the Northeast Wrestling fans and to you, Michael Lombardi, for the fun of it. You see, I'm heartbroken for a reason. It's not because Matt Taven beat me. It's not because for once in 1,052 days I was beaten. It's because everything I sacrificed on a personal level, on a professional level, and my blood, my sweat, and my tears goes unappreciated! It's not for all of that. It's because for once I believe in myself. For eight years, I made Northeast Wrestling fans believe in the Anthony Army. But tonight these two awards prove that I believe in myself. I believe in me. And I believe, and I, these awards didn't come from Northeast Wrestling fans. These awards came from me, for me. I'm not Superstar of the Year because the marketing machine didn't tell you to vote for the Army of One. I'm the least favorite Superstar of the Year because I tell it like it is, and I fight for what's real. Matt Taven tells you a bunch of lies and shows up when he feels like it. I fight 365 days a year, not for the Northeast Wrestling fans, not for you, Steve Credo, not for the Wrestling Podcast, 
but for Joe Lachance, for the Mark Borges of the world, for the people who bought my t-shirts when it wasn't cool anymore, and for me, because I believe in the army of one. I believe in Brian Anthony and the Northeast Wrestling fans can cheer for the next cool thing. But six months from now, when I'm still causing havoc and Matt Taven is halfway across the world and doesn't remember your name, I will be the one wearing the Northeast Wrestling Championship. All right, folks, from the Hammerlock Awards, it's another wrestling podcast. Oh, <laughs> my